Hey guys, welcome back to another Ratchet Teardown video. Today we have a Cal USA 3AX drive. And once again, if you appreciate this type of content, could you give me a like, share, and consider subscribing to my channel. Alright, this is a Cal USA. Like I said, 3AX drives. Here's the profile. the handle Cal USA uh, they've been around for a while uh, at least since the mid 60s they're located in California I think a lot of their a lot of their tools were contracts like military contracts government contracts they also go under the name of Pro America, Pro America Tools. So let's take a look inside. Has the usual coral ring. Around the cutout there. And you just move the mechanism out. Here's a look at the teeth. This ratchet looks like it's it was cut a little rough. If you notice. It doesn't look well centered. There's a lot of a lot of metal up here and kind of thin over here and over here. And it looks like there was a slight cutout on this side, but on this side is flat. Here they did cut out a small portion. has 41 teeth and I noticed underneath the handle there's this hole like I don't know when they forged this they didn't fill in the hole when they took it off the forging and they just left it like that. <laughs> I've never seen that before. So it's a pretty basic round head. Seems pretty heavy. I mean, besides it being like kind of cut weird, no. Seems a little rough. And if you if you look on online or on eBay, you you're gonna see cow. You you're gonna see some cows, and not all of them were made in the USA. Some of them you'll see cow, and then either on the front or the back it'll be Japan. I think they sourced some of their tools, like. Maybe in this, maybe in the 80s or 90s, some of the tools were sourced from Japan also. But I think today they may, they mostly make made in the USA. But I don't, I don't think they use Cal anymore. I, I think it's just Pro America. They use a Pro America label made in the USA. And I don't think they sell retail. From what I read, it's mostly contracts. They supply it to uh, 
They're supplied through contracts, government contracts, military. You probably see a lot of pro-America uh, military issue stuff. Okay. Here's the mechanism. Basic mechanism, just one paw. Just one paw, a la SK style. Has three teeth per side on the paw. There's the ball detent. Kind of medium. It doesn't seem too tight. I mean, it holds, but it's not real tight. Okay, the way I take this apart usually is I just press down on what whatever side of the pole is up. This side is up. I just press it all the way down, and I twist it to where the plunger that was in here is now underneath the body so it's under there okay and since this is there's not a, there's not enough for me to grab there I'm gonna use a magnet to uh, lift this up okay up the, the loop there and you want to cover that a little bit when you pull you pull on that because the plunger is under spring tension and it might want to fly out okay okay here's the switch and the plunger has a hollow plunger, the, the spring, the spring sits inside the hollow of the plunger, that's the plunger and the spring. The spring just sits in there. Here's the switch. It has a board out hole for the that holds the spring and the plunger. There's a pivot post for the for the pole. I just shake it out. Usually, usually I'm able to take it out like that. It's the post. Here's the pole. It's funny, it looks it looks kind of a little stylish <laughs> if you look at how the the teeth are like have this cut out on the sides here. And then they have like Kind of the edge, the edge of the hole is kind of chamfered there, which is cool because that helps the post. When you stick in the post, it helps getting it in. But I think I think the way they cut this was kind of like looks pretty good.
Not just like whatever. It looks a lot better than the head. Here's the mechanism body. Looks pretty well forged. Looks clean. Not bad. Okay, to put this back together. Take your paw, put it in the cutout there, align your hole, take your post, drop it back in, make sure it's flush there, take your spring and plunger, put it back in the hole on the switch. Put your uh, switch post in the hole there. Take something, hold down the plunger, and you stick it back in the, the mechanism. Make sure it switches back and forth. Put the switch side into the the cut out in the head there, drop it in. Press down a little bit on the paw that's up to get it in. So where it's, it's flush. Take your core ring. Get it around the cutout. And just walk it down until it, you hear it click. You see if it's secure, you test it out. See if it switches. Yep, switching. Okay. That's the teardown of the Cal USA. Three Ace Drive Ratchet. Okay, until next time. Bye.